Hey everybody, it's Jason, and I know it is getting ridiculously difficult and depressing to be quarantined inside and not being able to physically be with other people uh, in close proximity. Well, that doesn't mean you can't reach out to them and check on them with uh, Skype, Zoom, phone calls, but what about one of the biggest ways to put a smile on one's face? through the mail. And today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough on one of the systems that I use called Send Out Cards of how I stay in touch and keep in touch and check on other people. Just to give you an example of some of these cards, here's a card a friend of mine actually sent where it's talking about meditation. And yes, you could actually put pictures on the inside of these cards and you could even customize the back. Uh, I lost my grandfather this past month, and uh, I've been getting a lot of sympathy cards from my friends. And as you can see, you can put pictures on the inside. Um, here's another one that I sent to people where it just says, you're awesome, or who's awesome. And I wrote a note. That's actually my signature. You can customize the backs of these things. Uh, when the... Life gets back to normal. I'm going to do a let's do coffee card with people with my contact information. And again, you can customize the back as you can see. So just a bunch of different things you can do. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to share my phone because you can actually do this on your phone by downloading the app. And the app is bit.ly slash greeting card app. So let me show you this really cool app. So once you download it, you can then click on the app, which is send out cards. And it's again, bit.ly slash greeting card app. And you can see that there's a bunch of different categories here. You could also put your contacts in here and you can do all this on the website as well. You could actually do a campaign and a campaign is a card that you create ahead of time or a stream of cards that you create ahead of time. And you can actually send this out to a bunch of people at once. Or if you know somebody's birthday is coming up and you wanna send them the card for the birthday, same birthday card for everybody, you could tell the system, send this card to this person. It doesn't have to be immediate either. It can be scheduled in advance. But let me just show you how this works. So build your own is basically a blank slate where you could actually take photos and put it on the card. But we're actually gonna do a thank you card. And I'm just gonna make one up here. And you can see there's a bunch of different thank you cards in here. I'm gonna take this one. You have been unbelievably kind to me. You can see you can do a flat card, a two panel, three panel, a postcard, or even a big card, which is an eight and a half by 11. I'm going to hit create. And as I'm swiping, you can see that it says front, inside left, inside right, and back. And that's my customized back. You can create your backs of the cards on the computer. It's kind of difficult to do it over the app, but once you create it, it's defaulted to that back. So let me go back to inside left. If I hit this button that's right next to the send button, that's the layouts for the panel on the card. So let's say I wanna do a full size picture on that inside left of the card. I hit drag image here, and now I could either take a photo I could take a photo that's already uploaded to my Send Out Cards account or go into my photo library. And if I go into my photo library here, I'm gonna to go to images, camera, one that I took with my phone. I'm just gonna take this one of my dog. And then as you can see, it is now going to be uploaded to the inside of the card. And there it's the inside left of the card. Let's swipe to the inside right. If I hit the text field right here, I can now type in what I want to say. Also, I could pick from a bunch of different fonts. I'm a fan of envelope hand and footlight, but let's just do envelope hand. I could say, hey, and over here, this is really cool. I could actually put in a first name, uh, but I can't do it on the app. I can do this on the card through the computer where I could just go, hey, first name, and that's for the purpose of a campaign. But for this, I'm gonna say, 
hey, uh, Jason, comma, great chatting with you. Thank you so much for everything. And then I could actually sign the card if I uploaded my signatures, which is an add-on, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. I'm just gonna sign my name. That's the inside, I hit the check mark. That's the inside of the card. Now I'm gonna hit send. Now, right before I wanna send this, I could add a gift. And there's a bunch of different gifts, a bunch of different categories. There's gift, gift cards, and the SOC store if I wanna promote send out cards. But if we go to gifts, you can see all these different categories. You could have best sellers, gourmet foods, men, women, pets. It goes on and on. Sale, I don't even know what's on sale this month, but a bunch of different sale items. Let me go back to the brownies because that's the most popular. So if I go back to gifts, the brownies should be one of the very first items on here. A two pack of brownies. This company sends out 800 brownies a day, it's ridiculous. And so I'm gonna to add to the cart. And so now I have a card and a two pack of brownies. I could either send this immediately or I could choose a specific date if I have their information. And then I could either select a contact in my contact list already, a new contact or import a contact. I'm gonna select a contact because I'm gonna send this to myself. I'm going to type in my name. Boom, there I am, hit the check mark. So now I have a card, a two pack of brownies and I'm sending it to myself. Now that's my return address. So then I'm gonna hit continue. Don't mind the points, I'm on a grandfathered account, but then I hit submit and it's done. I just sent myself a card and a two pack of brownies. So now I'm gonna share my computer screen real quick and show you something else here. So now, going back to the relationships on the computer, I could add a contact and I can group these people. The campaigns, like I said before, is where you're gonna create a bunch of different campaigns and then you could have these cards ready to go anytime you want. But let's talk about pricing. So, you could actually have a free account. Download the app and then it's a free account. It's gonna cost you $275 per card plus a stamp. You can't get cheaper than that by going to a Hallmark or Target store and you can't even go to the stores right now anyways. Or if you do a group send of 20 or more with the same card as 225 plus postage. If you do any personalization, it's a dollar extra. This is for the people that are sending a few cards here and there. If you really are a card sender, and what a great time to be a card sender than right now, 17 a month gets you 225 for a heartfelt card, or $2 for a group send of 20 or more, there is no dollar charge per card for the customization. It's already built into the price. You get a 15% discount on the gifts. If you wanna send a card a day, it's $37 a month, and you actually get 30 individual send cards, one a day. That's included, you have to pay the postage. Or it's $2 a card after that, plus postage and you get 20% off of the gifts. And then 97 a month is unlimited single send cards. If you're going to send a group send or the same, the, send the same card to a bunch of people, over and over again, it's $1.75 per card plus postage. A lot of people, what they do, especially if they're going to send a bunch of cards around the holidays, is they'll do the 17 a month and they'll do this add-on for 3.95, which gives them 300 cards to use between now and 365 days from when you sign up. It's not a calendar year, it's a full 365 day year of when you sign up for this. It could be an individual send, it could be a group send, it does not matter. It breaks it down to $1.31 a card plus postage. And if you use all 300 cards, 
before the 395 days, um, 365 days is up, then you're still locked in for a dollar 31 a card over the next 12 months. This also includes, uh, I believe this also includes your handwriting font and you have access to the campaign store if you want pre-made campaigns built for you. So there you have it. It's the free account which you could just download the app and not worry about it and you get charged the most expensive price of up to $375 a card plus postage all the way to a $97 a month plan gives you unlimited single send cards per month which includes the postage and anywhere in between. Like I said the most popular is the $17 a month and then some people add this $395 for the 300 cards for the next 12 months. Again, the website you want to go to on your phone is bit.ly slash greeting card app. Download the app and have at it. If you want to do it on a website, then the website you go to on your computer is www.livingyourdreamsdaily.com. If you have any questions about any of this and want to spread gratitude and just check up on people then hit me up for more information feel free to call me at 248-981-7158 you could also email me at shane s-h-a-i-n dot jason at gmail.com or hit me up on facebook you know how to find me other than that be safe be well and we'll catch you soon see ya <music>